Hey guys, what's going on? Austin Martin here. Uh, if you see me on Instagram and you're here from that, welcome. My first video coming at you, we're gonna do a Q&A today. So a lot of you sent in some questions. We'll get started on that here in a minute. I skimmed through the questions a little bit, uh, but my lovely wife, Carolina, will be here asking some questions. And so we'll get to that in a minute. I'm talking about some stuff like just moving here to London, about my workouts. This channel is going to be a little bit of everything, uh, fitness related, just kind of daily life stuff. Starting some new adventures here, some new projects, keeping things fun. Excited about new things in life to come. We're going to go ahead and get started with some questions that you guys sent in. So let's get going. Okay, let's start with like a mainstream one. What's your motivation to hit the gym every day? I, I talked about this on my story a couple weeks ago. It comes and goes, but you know, you always, if you always have a goal in mind, you're always going to be motivated in some shape or form. Um, you're not always excited about it. Uh, it's good to be excited and that's what's fun about it. Having that goal in mind, even if motivation has gone, you know you're still going to go to the gym, go work out. Staying motivated just comes from having a solid goal. Number two, height. You are gorgeous. Love from Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> Love from Malaysia. Hashtag please come visit. Question is what's your height? Six foot four. Uh, that's in my bio. I get that question a lot, so I put it in my bio. It's there. I'm 6'4". Leads to the next question. What's your weight? 220, 225. It depends. We need to buy a scale here. For some reason here in London, all of the gyms, the scales you have to pay for, which I find kind of ridiculous. In the US, they just have scales. Here, they want you to pay a pound. Last time I stepped on, I was like 100 kgs, which is like 222 pounds. For someone starting to work out seriously, advice for wanting to get bigger. This is always a fun question. This is where I started, was I just want to get bigger. I don't want to be skinny anymore. It's a super exciting time. Eat. You have to eat. So much fun. Start eating, get your protein in, get your workouts in. I hear it all the time that I just can't gain weight. I can't gain weight. You can, you just have to eat. And don't be upset about it. Think of it as a blessing. Eat everything you can. When I first started, I used Mass Gainer twice a day, which I think added 1,500 calories to my diet, which is significant, and Mass Gainer can be expensive, but if you find yourself having trouble gaining weight, Mass Gainer is a really easy way. You can make a shake with it. A scoop of Mass Gainer, some vanilla ice cream, a banana, and a scoop of peanut butter, and it was delicious, because Mass Gainer can be hard to get in the powdered, it doesn't mix up as easily as whey does. So get some mass gainer if you need it. If not, just start eating food. Eat all day. When you're trying to gain weight, you really shouldn't be hungry. If you feel yourself hungry, go eat. Um, you should be shooting to gain one to two pounds a week. Nothing more than that, because then you're just gonna be gaining a lot of fat. Just eat, eat and work out. That's it. Ideal workout clothes. TLF apparel. I'll put the link. If I can figure it out, the link will be somewhere around here my first YouTube video or it'll be down in the description it's also in my bio I've always worn shorts to the gym lately I've been wearing joggers it's cold here it's too cold I walked in I walked into the locker room today and saw somebody and he was like hey man how's it going I was like it's cold it's too cold and he started laughing because it's only what is it 45 yeah. degrees Fahrenheit here awesome. it's pretty warm here for them um, so I always wear shorts and uh, Come on. <laughs> and some kind of cut off. I used to just, you know, like cut a t-shirt like this. Maybe I'll post a video on how I cut my stringers. Um, but now I've been wearing uh, TLF stuff. Feels so good. How can someone get an autograph or buy your used workout clothes? <laughs> and I, don't. I will not be selling my used workout clothes. Um, I need money, but not that bad. UK pros and cons, US pros and cons. So Carolina asked me this the other day, what's, what do I not like about it here? Sometimes the people here are not as friendly. We have met some really nice people. All in all, I think it's just a, it's a different culture. Maybe here they, they see it as like, if you're super overly friendly, you're just kind of being fake, which I could definitely understand as like not wanting to come across as like being fake to somebody. Two, it's cold, it's cold as shit here and it's only, the end of October, so I don't know what's going to happen in January. If you guys want to send me a coat and some mittens, that'd be nice. The good things, it's easy to get around. I kind of miss driving my truck. The public transportation here is really easy. 
So that's been nice. Everything's pretty close. And there's lots of history here, which Carolina loves. I need to get into it. Um, but stuff here is pretty beautiful. There's some really nice areas that you don't get back in the... <laughs> back home, because everything there was built like 20 years ago, whereas here is, who knows, hundreds, hundreds of years ago. It's yeah, nice. Hundreds. It's very pretty. U.S. cons. Yeah, I wish I could think of one. But we're having a really good experience here. I need to become more worldly, more educated. Where do you want to travel to? Scotland, and those areas look beautiful. It's just so easy to travel here, but we haven't found the time yet. We've been pretty busy. Uh, we have trips coming up in a couple weeks. We're staying in the UK. Probably Christmas time. I don't think I'll get to be with family this year other than this one. We will probably be going somewhere mountainy. Uh, like Switzerland or somewhere where we can ski or do some snowboarding and have an exciting Christmas. If you have any suggestions on where we should travel leaving London, uh, comment down below. Uh, we haven't planned anything so we're open to ideas. Would you like to have children? If so, <laughs> how many? Would we like to have children? Uh, that's a big big no we are very excited about living free lives my mom's always wondering why i don't want to have kids she thinks she screwed me up somehow it's not that um we're just excited about the freedom of not having kids doing whatever we want living our lives we don't like kids you might see in some future videos if i'm filming out on the street we we actively run away from children they're scary um they get in the way and they're dirty they lick things it's disgusting <laughs> Uh, so that's a no. No to kids. You will not be seeing any little Austin babies running around town. How many times do you brush your teeth? <laughs> Every night I brush my teeth. Not just at night. I brush my teeth in the morning too. Every night and I walk out of there after I brush my teeth and floss and tell Carolina that I have the cleanest teeth in all of the world and she laughs at me. She's the one that got me into flossing, uh, which has probably been good for me. <laughs> Honestly, are you a dentist? I don't know who asked this question. Twi twice a day. I brush my teeth twice a day. All right, moving on. All right, last one. Why did you start your fitness journey and what roadblocks have you encountered? I started my fitness journey when I was, I guess, fitness probably like 12 years old. I started running. Um, Wait, why? Why did I start? Yeah. yeah. I started when I was 12. Uh, I played baseball all the way until I was uh, 19. I played a year of college baseball until I got hurt. So that was my main motivation to start was for athletics. After I got hurt, I made a switch from training for sport to training to just look good and be healthy and training for aesthetics. Uh, so that was a big shift. And I've been training heavy weight training seven to eight years now. And I don't see myself leaving ever. This is a lifelong thing. When I'm talking with new clients, fitness is a lifelong commitment. Being healthy is a lifelong commitment. Once you get on it, you got to find a way to stick with it so you can stay healthy for the rest of your life. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right. That's it. Thanks, guys. Make sure to subscribe somewhere around here. Comment, like, do all the stuff that you're supposed to do on YouTube. Leave some comments below if you like the video, what you want to see next. Uh, I don't have any plans for new videos, open to any suggestions, all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, let me know. Thanks, guys.